Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. Okay, we are providing the solution to this. X to the power of 3 plus X equals 30. We are not just providing the solution, but providing the complete solution. We have X to the power of 3 plus x minus 30 equals 0. What I did is to bring out of um, bring 30 to the left. Now this is x to the power of 3 plus x minus I think the simplest method to use is to break 30 into 2 so that it will be in this form right. So we have 27 plus um, 3, that is 30, then we equate to 0. Now, this means that we have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 27 minus 3, because the negative will open the bracket, and this is giving 0. Now, x to the power of 3 plus x minus 3 to the power of 3 because 3 to the power of 3 is 9 minus 3 again is equal to 0 now what do i do again i have x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 because i'm going to combine these two then combine these two which is plus x minus 3 everything equals 0 so I'm going to deal with this together and deal with this together. And um, from here, if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, what do you do? This is the same thing as a minus b in brackets. Then we have a squared plus ab then plus b squared. So this alone will give us this form. So we're going to have x minus 3. So in place of a minus b, we have x minus 3 now, right? Then um, open brackets here, we have x squared plus ab is x times 3, that is 3x. Then plus b squared, you know, our b is 3 now, right? Okay. Yes, our b is 3, and 3 squared will give 9. Then plus, I'll go back to that. That is x minus 3, and then I equate to 0. Do not be confused, right, by what I've done. Okay, so what I did is, um, what I did is to write um, x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, in this form now x minus 3 is still here so now there's something common to these two terms you know this and this we consider them one term since it's multiplication so one thing is common to the two terms and that is x minus 3 so we factorize this is still there x squared plus 3x plus 9 i have that right Okay, let's put this in bracket. Then plus, if you factorize and this comes out, 1 will be left over there. So we close this and equate to 0. What do I do? Again, I can say that um, x minus 3, okay, is into, I'm going to open this bracket and then add 9 and 1. So we get x squared plus 3x plus 10 and this is equal to 0 and by the way if you are still following till this um, length it means you're doing well so if you see to the end you will definitely get it okay so now we have two terms to multiply in order to get 0 so it means that either of them is equal to 0 or both of them will be equal to zero.
okay so it's either this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero if i pick this first x will be equal to zero plus three and it means that x x is equal to three okay i have to equal to x is equal to three so we are then we, we are we are done with the first um factor we are done with the first factor to go to the second factor where we had x to the power of 2 plus 3x plus 10 equals 0. We will use the formula method to deal with this. Using the formula method is not a big deal if you can remember the formula. The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a right now x is equal to minus b minus b now becomes minus 3 because the coefficient of x squared is a the coefficient of x is 3 and the coefficient of okay the constant which is c is equal to 10 now b is minus 3 plus or minus then we have the square root of b squared which will be 3 squared then minus 4 times a times c because c is 10 and a is 1 we divide the whole of this by 2 times 1 and 2 times 1 will still give us some um, 2 so that x is now equal to minus 3 plus or minus we have 3 squared 9 minus 4 times 1 times 10 is 40 we divide the whole of this by 2 we will still continue from here okay if we do we'll be having x equals minus 3 plus or minus we have 9 minus 40 and it's giving us minus 31 this will be over 2 mind you um we can simplify this minus 32 but the negative there can be taken out so we have x equals minus 3 plus or minus we have the negative if we take it out it give us i and then we have square root of 31 and everything is over 2 by the way this is a 2 in 1 solution let me continue from here so we'll have x to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus we have i root 31 divided by 2 right so this this means this means that x is equal to minus 3 plus i root 31 over 2 or minus 3 minus i okay sorry i wrote out of sight root 31 over over 2 so it means that we're having three solutions right we had one before now we have this we have this and then we have this other one so these are the three solutions and um if you love my approach do something or say something at the comment section thank you for watching